Okay, we're starting off today's daily. Okay, so yet again, I'm gonna be talking about uh, the, the things known as dreams. No, 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 no. I understand that you know a whole lot of the dailies have been about dreams, and you know, too bad. <laughs> It's really just kind of whatever is happening with me at the moment in, in life and all. And uh, I'm going to talk about what I'm going to call a nightmare. But it really wasn't like... It was just sad. It was just creepy. And sad. <laughs> so, basically, my dream started at the end. <laughs> um, I woke up. Um, now, I'm not, I didn't, like, legitimately wake up. I just kind of, in the dream, woke up a little bit. Um, I didn't really know what was going on. I was just kind of like, what was happening? Where am I? Type deal. <laughs> and, um, yeah. <laughs> well, when it comes to that, anyway... And then, you know, I started to piece things together in my head. I was like, okay, okay. And I started, like, getting up and moving around and, like, trying to get dressed and all. Now, while this was happening, because I don't fully remember everything that happened, so I can't remember, like, the details of what happened there. But I do remember that at some point I, uh, I saw a snake. And just, like, sitting at the front of my door. Now, in real life, I'd be like, holy moly, mother of mercy. And I'd, like, g grab everything I can around me as, like, some sort of defense to kill this thing. <laughs> uh, or maybe jump out the window. <laughs> like, open the window, then jump. Type deal. But, um, you know, for whatever reason, I didn't care. And I, I just kept walking around and walking around the snake. It didn't bother me. I didn't bother it. And just, we kept moving on with our lives. And that was it. <laughs> but um, then things changed a little bit. So I started uh, doing whatever the heck it's called. I, like, got mostly dressed. And well, I started, like, getting dressed even more. And I got mostly dressed and started waiting for the, the the snake to like kind of do something, get out the way, because I remember it was in front of the doorway. But then I noticed that it was um, that there was another snake, and this one was like had a whole lot of like red and purple like scales. It looked poisonous and dangerous, and I started like to see it like cock its head back so it can lunge forward. And I saw that, and I dodged, and I, like, jumped into the side area, and it didn't even go towards me, actually, because it could have, like, still just dove straight for me because how close I was to it, even in the little side area. But instead, it dove after the other snake and bit that thing, and, uh, yeah. Then it started chasing me, and this in, like, the dream, I don't know if I just blatantly don't remember what happened here, or if, it, like, the dream itself just kind of teleported into the future. Where I was in a different part of my house. Where the snake is then chasing me. <laughs> now, you're probably thinking, this is pretty scary. This is pretty nightmare-esque so far. No, 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 no. That's not what got me. That, that is not what got me. <laughs> That's like, okay, it's a dream. What they do? Move on. Move on with your life. <laughs> what got me? <laughs> Was the stinking, um... The stinking fact where I decided to arm myself with a knife and to kill it. I was going to wait for it to lunge at me, dodge the lunge, and then stab it. Now, somehow, my dream decided to give me a big middle finger <laughs> and uh, decided that that's not what's going to happen. That then the... the snake decides to cock its head back again so it can lunge instead it's going to um turn into a dog at the same time and it turned into like a, a more like puppyish looking dog like slightly older smaller dog and um yeah it turned into a dog that still had like the purple and red fur and all and then continued to lunge at me at that time. Now, I had noticed 
that like I didn't really realize nor care that it turned into a dog at the time. So I proceeded to stab it in the back <laughs> a few times, like two or three. Now, right after this, it, you know, it's a dog. I love dogs. It became really sad. It, it like, you could see the emotion in his face. It was, like, crying. I'm, I immediately broke out into tears from this dream. You think I'm joking? I am not. I, uh, I, I legitimately broke out into tears. There was really nothing I could do. How did that do so much damage to me? Um, it just, it just kind of happened. And, uh, yeah. So, I, I broke out into my tears, of course. And I decided for, like, whatever, I'm just gonna, uh, keep going. So, originally I was going to show... Originally I was going to show my mother what I had just done. <laughs> And be like, no, it's a tragedy. But um, then, because, you know, like stinking clockwork, and the world just looked upon me and said, you know what, F this guy. Or at least my dream did anyway. I, um, <laughs> a, a, a person, like, came to the door that was, uh, whatever the heck it's called, they were, like, selling puppies. And they had lost one. And they were wondering if I had found it. So yes, they were selling them anyway, but nonetheless. It, it's, it, yeah. Not, not happy. No, I auto-attacked the wrong one. And, um, the one that they had lost was, you know, the one that stinking turned into a snake. <laughs> um. And, yeah, so, like, that, of course, and, like, seeing their expression upon me, um, like, up upon me holding it, they immediately got teary-eyed and was like, well, y you can keep it now, type deal. <laughs> like, it's mine now. <laughs> so, I'm balling, both, like, in the dream and not. Uh, like, you know when you just cry in a dream, you cry in real life, too. <laughs> because that that's exactly what happened. Like, I, I woke up a little bit after this, uh, and just, like, on my pillow was just a spot uh, of, like, a wet spot of just pure tears. <laughs> so, you know. Not one of my finer moments, that's for sure. And and then I did exactly like the second thing that I was said I was going to do is I walked over and showed my mother the fact that I had just killed a dog. Now both she started crying. Well, not in the dream she didn't really start crying. She was just kind of like, "Oh no, it's it's a horrible thing type deal," and nothing really special. But, um, God, these guys. What is with these bots and being so aggro? So, as I was saying, just like everything kind of just stopped for a moment because of the, with the, with the dog being dead and all and we just kind of moved on with like our we didn't really move on with our lives it's just like upon seeing my mother's uh, reaction it is when I fell asleep dang this person let me get some farm Um, and, and then, like, I woke up, I woke up with tears in my eyes, just completely bawling. <laughs> uh, no, originally, like, I, I was then just sad. I was sad for a little while, honestly, afterward, like, I knew it was all a dream and everything, but I was still just, like, 
That was horrible. Never again. Um, and uh, that was really it. I was just, I was just royally upset. <laughs> And then I really just kind of, like, kept going at that point. Um, like, most of my morning was basically ruined. Because, <laughs> like, even long after the time, I started watching some YouTube videos. And I just felt so sad. <laughs> like, to the point where I almost started crying. And I was like, this needs to stop. This needs to stop. <laughs> And, um, just like, yeah, like I just kind of continued on from there where I I'm, uh, I'm upset. I'm at the point of tears. I g finally, I go to my classes and, you know, the utter boringness and, uh, stupidity of them kind of take in. Uh, w which cal calms me down and everything and I'm not stinking upset anymore from the dream and like I, oh my goodness though like honestly that dream was messed up i do not understand why that that happened like i want to know what, what possessed me to have such a horrible dream Um, like, I'm really, I'm just not quite sure, like, really fully what happened. Like, I'm fine with, like, the dream, but I don't understand why the dream happened. Like, I, I wish I did know, <laughs> like, why I had such a weird dream, because then, you know, maybe I'd, I'd be able to do something about it type deal but no no I, I had just had like the weirdest stream in the world about me stinking stabbing a puppy <laughs> but to be like completely honest it was a uh, god I hate this person it was a snake originally so you know so I will give myself you know like partial um, I don't want to, I don't know what the heck to like to call it. Partial, like, um, hmm, like when you're not guilty to something, I was going to say like reason or something like that, but I don't, I don't really know if reason is a, uh, a good response to it. I had, uh, more reason than I was if I just, like, walked up and stabbed an actual puppy. So. And, and, like, in that sense, I guess it wasn't that bad. But nonetheless, it, it upset me. It royally upset me. <laughs> what the flip? How did that... Okay. Sure. But, um... Yeah. <laughs> I, I guess, like, for those reasons, I, I would say that I maybe had, like, partial uh, understanding of the events. Or, not understanding, partial, like, uh, reasoning on why everything happened. And, like, because of that, if you really wanted to, you could maybe, like, make the argument that... That, you know, like, it really wasn't all that bad of a thing. That I, um... Shouldn't, like, be that upset about it. But at the same time, I am, uh, still pretty upset. Still pretty upset.
Dang it. Um. So just saying, like, I don't think that I have the biggest reason in the world to be upset and all, but, you know, like, I, I still think that it wasn't, like, a, a little deal. And that I shouldn't just be, like, completely fine with it either. <laughs> I guess, like, maybe, but... I, I would definitely not want to experience it again, that's for sure. <sighs> I guess I got this, I really. We're just kind of wrecking them. Ah, uh, no, I don't need to fully upgrade that just yet. Uh, no, no. Okay, so, like, hmm. When it comes to, like, these matters, I, I wonder if I, like, went to, like, the type of doctors that are supposed to deal with these types of things. The... the I don't know what the heck a dream doctor is called. So I'm just like wondering that if I decided to like go to one of these doctors and tell all of them these things, then uh, like it would. Wow. Actually. Actually. I didn't move, yeah. Like, I just got alt after alt, and then CC after CC. I didn't move. Like, I know they're intermediate, but I still didn't really expect them to, um... Do, like... These type of techniques. I don't know. Whatever. Um... So, I don't... I don't really know, I was saying before, I don't really know what their response would be. Maybe it was just, I was feeling stressed about my dog, and, uh... Oh, and, um, because of that, it, it led me to have these types of dreams, and that I shouldn't actually be worried about it. It was just, I'm just, it proves that I care about my dogs, or something like that. You know, it's all fine and dandy, but at the same time, I uh, I don't want to be having these dreams for caring about my dogs. Come here, you. Um. So, well, that was nice. <laughs> um, so I don't really know what they would be saying. They, I'm assuming that, as I said before, that it would just be something about like, oh, you just care about your dog really deeply, and it's like, oh, are we sure that's the reasoning behind this? Because I don't know about you guys, but like, yeah, I do, but that's, uh, that's still a pretty big dream or a pretty, uh, demented dream that I don't want to have no matter how much I care about my dog. Especially, you know, as I said before, I'm used to not dreaming at all. So these types of dreams to me are just like, uh, why is this happening? Please stop it. <laughs> type of experience. Legendary. Okay, I got the in him. Destroyed 
Okay. We can finally. Oh, what the flip? The ability changed direction. Or it changed, like, the area. To where my cursor was instead of where my cursor's. Like, where I originally started it. But like as as I have said in like previous videos, if you happen to um, have uh, like similar dreams or uh, other experiences that are either like I don't know, like not not just dreams, but if you've had like uh, other times in your life where where something ha like that has happened. Then like I was just like don't don't be don't be shy like I'll try to give it my best type of thought. Yeah. Say so kill. Him. Okay, but, um... What else? Um, but yeah, like, if you have any of these similar experiences, I I'll be glad to, you know, say something. It, like, in the comments, I'll, I'll say back, and, or I'll go into the comments myself and reply to you and just be like, Yeah, I know, man, like, you had this nightmare, I had this nightmare, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> We died to like the jungle. Guess it had to be like Olaf. Maybe what's his face? Why do they keep breaking? <laughs> what? So, yeah, that that was just my dream. If you have a, a a purple and red dog, if there's a purple and red dog in the world, please and and you happen to own it, please like kiss it on the head and say I'm sorry for me. <laughs> Because you know, I am uh, I I'm very upset from that dream. Uh, I was just messed up. Okay, thank you all for watching this daily. I hope to see you all next time, and I'm gonna bid you all adieu. Goodbye.